Hi everybody, so I'm back. So I'm gonna do a full face primer makeup today. So I'm actually excited because I've just recently uploaded a haul video um, about primer makeup. So today we are going to try the makeup. So I have already washed my face and I think let's start with a primer. So I am going to use this PS Prep and Perfect Illuminating Skin Primer. So this reminds me of the Urban Decay one. There you go. I am going to use the PS My Perfect Color Perfect Finish Foundation Medium to Full Coverage Natural Finish Moisturizing Vitamin E in the shade Light Beige 08, £2.50. So this is how it looks like. I'm going to use the sponge as well to use um, this makeup brush cleaning spray, PS Pro one, to dump, to dump the sponge. And I'm going to start with the foundation. A tiny bit there, put a tiny little dot all over my face. And then we're going to blend. As, as you may have noticed, I've got um, a blemish right there. See if this foundation will be able to, to conceal that. I'm not sure about the sponge though, because it doesn't feel like it's transferring and um, looking at my face, there's only minimal product that goes to my skin. I'm not sure about that, but let's try another sponge, shall we? I'm going to use my real technique one, see if that will work. Let's try it again. So I'm going to put a tiny little bit, there you go. I am not sure about the sponge because the difference now is I'm using, this is a primer one, I'm using the real technique ones and I can already see the difference. There you go. In here that is medium to full coverage. I stated on the, the whole video that I have apparently chosen a much darker shade than my, my natural skin colour, but apparently the light, light beige one looks perfectly fine. So I'm not sure about the full coverage. I can say that it is medium coverage. I can still see the spot peeking through. Um, Not a spot, but a blemish peeking through. That's just a scar. If you don't mind, I'll use a concealer to, co to cover that up, to cover the blemish up, there you go, so much better, it looks brilliant and it's very promising, I can say it's medium coverage, it's not full coverage though, and I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my brows, um, I'm going to use the Pierce Brow Sketch um, Brow Pencil in the shade Brown. So, I'm just... Um, as I was saying before, I am not really used to using this one, so please bear with me. I'm not a huge fan of this, but let me just bring my brow. So, it just mimics my brow. follow the strands of your hair. So that's how it looks like. That's not bad. Let's do the other brow. Ooh. That's not bad. That's all. Shadow. But before we do the eyeshadow, Let's use 
the PS My Perfect Color Foundation Pressed Powder. What's it? Ivory, number two. Go. I like this powder to be fair. I absolutely love it. The only problem I have with this powder is the fallout. Look, you can see. So, if you use this every day, you'll probably hit the pan quick as well. Get a lot of fallout. So, I'm going to use the Soft Looks Black Cherry PS Eyeshadow. The packaging, everybody. Absolutely beautiful. It looks like high end makeup. Let's inside it. What I'm going to use is, what is that colour? Nectar. I'm going to use Nectar. I'm just going to use the Nectar one, which is this shade, as my transition colour. Oh, it's very similar to the powder. There, there's a lot of fallout. I'm going to use that. I'm just going to contour my crease. The fallout, so that's the only problem I've got. Happy with that? That's a beautiful black colour. Just grab another brush. I think I'm going to go for this slightly darker shade, which is called Chop Jack Black. This one. That one. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put that right there. To be fair, they are very pigmented. It is very buildable. I'm going to put that there. Another one here. Right, now, I think, I'm going to go for Cranberry, which is this one, that colour, that colour right there, that's Cranberry, so I'm going to put that on top of Chatbot. So what we're going to do now is what you are using, what colour is that, using Spark, this one. And put it at the outer side of our crease. And then blend, blend, blend. Just focus on the outer corner of your crease, make sure you're happy, and make sure it is even. So that's how it looks like for now, but then I am going to use Indulge, oh no, I'll probably go for Spellbound, this shade, that shade there. I'm just going to dab that and the trick is put a little bit of a spray on it spray, setting spray to dump it a little bit the inner part or the centre part of my so what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to use what shade is this I'm going to use Ripen, which is this shade, that shade, and put that underneath my waterline. Other side. And 
and then we will fix that in a bit and make sure it's blended properly for now what I'm gonna do is since we haven't got any contour palette I'm gonna use jackpot which is this one to contour my nose eyeshadows you've got there you go I am using PS blush high pigment blusher in the shade secrecy look at that beautiful peachy color though very very pigmented it reminds me of my matte blush Double Trouble False Eyelash from Primark and there's glue inside it already so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to put lipstick on so I'm contemplating between these two that one shall I go for Vintage Rose or shall I go for this one which is Naked Flame Vintage Rose for this look ah oh, smells good honestly chop that a little bit a little bit so this is how the makeup looks like everybody so overall I absolutely love the eyeshadow palette I'm a bit disappointed in some of the products though. Um, number one would be the eyelashes. I like the style and that, but I hate the glue. It doesn't work at all. And I'm not a huge fan of the sponge either. It absorbs the product more than distributing it towards or, uh, distributing it into your skin. Um, so I'd had, I had to use a different sponge, I had to use my Real Technique ones. But other than that, the blush is absolutely amazing, the powder is brilliant. Um, the eyeshadow of course, I adore. The primer, wow. Look at the glow on my face though. And the foundation, the coverage, although it's medium coverage. It's not bad, not bad at all. Also, the lipstick is promising. Look at that. See what I mean? The highlighter, look at that glow everybody. That glow right there. Although it doesn't really, you wouldn't really see the full potential in just doing one swipe so you had to build it up a little bit which is fine um not bad so long as you can see it on the second or third try of building it up brilliant i am also impressed apparently with this brow pencil look at my brows everybody how natural does it look do you know what i could use this every day now i am going to i'm gonna I'm actually impressed with it. I didn't expect it. Because I say everybody, I actually enjoyed it. So far, I am very, very impressed. Hope you guys like this look. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thanks everybody for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And hope I'll see you again in my next video. See you soon.
Goodbye.